Do you want to make instant $27 commissions over and over again? If so, check out the automated cash app system. Link below. Hey, welcome to FUIME TV. It's your man Earl Batman Stringer, aka LTB. And uh, you know, I gotta talk about this Conor McGregor versus Cowboy Cerrone fight that took place at UFC 246. Big deal. Everybody was so excited about uh, Conor McGregor coming back. And I predicted that um, uh, McGregor was going to win. I, I figured that. And I even, um, I really believed it after watching all of the hype um, this past week, you know, leading up to the fight. It was just Cerrone's demeanor was just way too damn relaxed, in my opinion. Way too relaxed. And I'm like, yo. I text my cousin, like, when they are doing the walkouts last night, I text my cousin, like, yo, Connor about to fuck up Cowboy. He about to fuck him up. That's what I said. And about, mm, about three minutes later, uh, they was raising Connor's hand. It was just, I was just, I was just disappointed, man. I like Cerrone. Cerrone cool, you know what I mean? I, I watch his fights, and everybody know he's like a, a up and down fighter. One fight, he looks like a fucking phenom, and another fight, he looks like a bum. Um... So I was kind of like, after this week, I'm telling you, I felt like watching the lead up, I felt like, yo, this dude, he's not, I don't want to say he's not serious, you got to be serious to do this, but I just felt like it wasn't no big deal. I felt like he felt he could just do whatever, you know, you get, you getting paid, you know, he has no hostility, it's all good, you know, he's a fighter, hey, you win some, you lose some. I would have rather seen a fight where um, the guy who was fighting Connor was like, he want to like fuck up Connor. I want to see somebody where they like, yo, Connor, I'm, I'm, I'm going to beat your ass, right? Like, that's what I want to see because Cerrone was just too damn passive, right? So, watching the fight, as soon as it got started, I'm like, damn, Connor came straight out the gate, you know what I'm saying, throwing bombs, and then he clinched with him, and then the, the, the shoulders, which that was dope, that shoulder move, like hitting him like 10 times in the face with his shoulder, and it was just like, but Cerrone, after about the second, third time he hit you with that shoulder, you a damn professional. Like, at some point, don't you, like, maybe need to unclench or come up with some shit? Uh, do, you know what I mean? Like, I get Connor doing that to some dude at the bar. You know what I'm saying? Hitting him with the shoulder 20 times. But that that goes back to my thing about Cerrone. I think it wasn't a big deal. He's like, oh, I got my ass. Well, ah, it's cool. Right? So, some people were saying, well, yo, was this fixed? Was this shit rigged? And I ain't gonna lie. If I ever was to say some shit was fixed, you know, for another person, this would be it. But I don't believe that is the case, to be honest, which I really don't believe, um, you know, that UFC is fixed or staged. I don't. I mean, maybe in the future somebody got will get paid to take a dive or something. I don't know. But this just looked like some dude and Cerrone just didn't care. He was just like, hey, man, it's a pleasure to fight Connor. It's cool. We have a good time. Celebrate, you know, all that shit. And to me, it was a letdown. Um, I just think Cerrone could have put up a better fight. I don't know. I wasn't in there. So, you know, a lot of people are like, Dick, you don't do this shit for a living. You don't know how it is. But damn it. So what? I'm still just seeing from what from what I saw. Um, but Connor did look dope. But I told my cousin, I was like, yo, was it that Connor was dope as shit? Or was it that Cerrone just was so whack, you know? And uh, we talked, and he was like, yo, it was a combination. I think Connor was, he was prepared. Uh, he was determined. You could see Connor been working on some stuff. You could see it. But at the same time, if you watch the fight, Cerrone got hit a couple times. Then he, like, curled up like a bitch. And was, like, literally looking like he was just getting attacked by some dude. Yeah, so, with that being said, I'm um, curious to see what's going to happen with uh, Connor next. A lot of people want to see him. Um, fight somebody uh, either Masvidal or the winner of Habib and um, Tony Ferguson which I think I don't know I'm torn now because Connor did look smooth last night but you know Habib and Ferguson they both monsters and if you would ask me uh, uh, two days ago I would say that Habib and Ferguson and Masvidal would destroy Connor but I mean I'm starting to drink the goddamn Kool-Aid now so I don't know after last night, but I definitely believe that Connor's next fight will be way more difficult uh, than this shit that went down between him and Cerrone. Um, 
but yeah i'm curious to see what's gonna happen with this but overall like i said it was just pretty like let down by Cerrone. i think he, he took this shit way too light and like i said uh Cerrone, he's not done he's no signs of retiring or anything like that but i mean i thought it would have been a little little uh a little better overall but like i said connor did what he needed to do i think <clears throat> on his damn comeback fight I mean, he, he beat his ass real quick, swift, no doubt about it. So, we're going to see, man. It's shit, it's shit, getting, shit getting exciting. I let the chain hang. Yeah, I'm tattered up. And I love to cuss. I just don't give a give a See, I'm just doing me. And you should do you. Yeah, I hear you talking. That's just your point of view. And see, I just don't care. I be like, mm, yeah. I done heard it all, damn, there's haters everywhere, and they keep me motivated.